So we'll just start in a seated position. And um, if it's comfortable, I invite you to close your eyes. If not, maybe just have a soft gaze down to still stay inward. And just a, a soft transition from outer busyness to inner stillness. And taking a moment just to feel the weight of your body as you're sitting here. Taking in the body as a whole from the inside out. And just noticing for a moment the parts of the body that are in connection with something underneath you. Maybe it's a cushion or just the yoga mat but where you feel a connection of your body with the floor, with the cushion, with your seat. Just noticing that sensation in the body. And inviting your body to just settle into your seat, into your space a bit more. Softening the body just by being present to it. And just sitting here with a sense of relaxation and at the same time with a sense of alertness in the body and mind. And from this place of grounding, of feeling the weight of the body in your seat, maybe you can grow your spine just a little bit taller to feel a, a lifting sensation through the heart Allowing the eyes and facial muscles to relax. Feeling the muscles in your neck softening a bit. And as you bring your attention down into the shoulders and back, your shoulder blades, Inviting them as well to relax just a bit more. Softening through the back body, the spine, the upper back, the lower back. Feeling a sense of relaxation through the upper arms the lower arms and the hands. And here again, just take a moment to see if you can feel the hands from the inside out, the sensations in the hands. Maybe there's a sense of tingling or heat, pressure, vibrating. Just noticing with a sense of curiosity the sensations in the hands. And you can move into the front of the torso, just feeling the area of the chest of your heart. And as you check in with your heart, you might notice uh, an emotion, a feeling that's present there. And just softly inviting it in, just holding space for it, just holding it with a sense of present, presence, whatever it is. Letting it be part of your practice this afternoon. And as you move into your belly, see if you can take the next few breaths into a softening belly. Feeling the belly expanding on the in-breaths while it stays soft. And then contracting back towards the spine as you gently breathe out. Just 
So just tuning into the sensations of breathing now as you breathe in, maybe opening, expanding into the experience. And as you exhale, a softening, a sense of letting go. So breathing in and out of the belly softly. And maybe there's a sense of awakening, of being alert on the in-breaths. And then a deeper sense of letting go with every out-breath. Just letting go into the moment, letting go into being present with yourself for this practice, for this time that we're sharing together. And then as you feel ready to move, just with the next out breath, we'll just begin by lowering the chin down towards the chest. Feeling the, the chin bowing in, the head bowing in towards the heart. And then as you gently bring your chin back up to neutral, Begin to gently move your head from side to side, moving from the right shoulder over to the left shoulder, back to center. If you wish, you can leave your eyes closed, but just a gentle movement from side to side to awaken the muscles in the neck, to offer a, a, a nice stretch in that area. And also wanted to uh, welcome Rosemary and Ming to the practice, even though I can't see you, but I know you're there. It's good to know to be sharing this space with you for this hour. So just a few more rounds from side to side, staying connected to the sensation that's being created in your body, in your neck. And staying connected to your breath as you breathe in and out with the movement. And then next time you come back to center, we're just going to engage the muscles in the neck a little bit more. So just tipping the head from side to side. We're not moving the shoulders or the torso, but rather just tipping the head over the right shoulder and then the left shoulder and back to center. Just a few rounds of this, stretching the outside of the neck. And the next time you come back to center, we'll come back into stillness. And then we're gonna take the right hand and place it over the left ear. We're gonna lengthen the spine on an in-breath. And then as you exhale, just gently guide your head over to the right side, stretching down towards the right shoulder and then really opening the left side body here as you begin to breathe into the left side of your body. And then you can engage your breath, imagining that you're breathing in and out of the left side of the body here, opening up space in that part of your body. Complete in-breaths and full out-breaths.
And then gently guiding your head back to center, release your right arm slowly back down to your starting position. And just taking a moment here to notice the effects of the stretch in your body. Taking a couple breaths back into this neutral alignment of the spine. And then from here, we'll take the left hand and guide it over to the right ear. Taking a nice deep in-breath, feeling the chest opening. And then as you exhale, guide your head slowly over towards the left side, down towards the left shoulder. Breathing in and out of the right side of the body now, really expanding that area of your body drawing life force, drawing energy into this part of the body. So feeling an opening and a lengthening with each in-breath, and then a sense of relaxation with each out-breath. Just a few more rounds of breath, deepening into the experience now in the body. Last in-breath here. And as you exhale, guiding the head back to the center, slowly releasing your left arm back down, resting it on the thigh, the leg, the knee. And again, just taking note of the effects of the stretch in your body. And if your eyes were closed, you can gently open them again. And then we'll bring our hands together at the heart at Namaste. And on an in-breath, just open both arms out wide to the side, drawing the shoulder blades together and back. And then as you exhale, give yourself a gentle hug, placing your hands, either hand on back and back on the shoulder blades, maybe releasing your chin down. Inhale, opening up again, arms out to the side. And then exhale, a nice hug, drawing the hands in towards the shoulder blades, either side. Inhale, open. And then exhale, round your back, round forward as you place your hands on either shoulder blade. And so with each inhale, we'll continue to open, drawing the arms out to the side. And as you exhale, just rounding the spine, bowing forward and towards the heart. And we'll just continue to move in this way and just be sure to move at a pace that feels right to you, that feels right to your body in this moment. So some of us might feel a little lethargic at the moment and wanna move at a faster pace and others feel stressed and really wanna tune into a sense of relaxation, in which case you might wanna move at a slower pace. Whatever you are, what, however you're doing it is just right. Just checking in with how it works for you to move in this way. So we'll just keep flowing for another three rounds or so. Breathing in as the arms stretch wide, breathing out as you're rounding the spine, folding in towards the heart. And then this time as you round forward, maybe just take a moment here to give yourself a nice self massage with your hands on the shoulders. You can bring your spine up to neutral if you want. And then maybe take your hands to the back of the neck and just, just a little soft massage here as well. And then take a moment to place the backs of the hands into your lower head back and just pummel there into the area of the kidney. Giving a nice self massage there as well. 
and we'll come around to the belly and just just a nice little <laughs> stretch, a nice little hitting on the belly, up on the chest. And then you can make a fist with your hands and knock the head all around, a little bit of an awakening. You can knock quite hard. Our heads are quite strong, so you don't have to worry about getting hurt there in any way. And then just take a moment to slowly descend your hands down again onto your thighs or knees. Again, just noticing the effects of the self-massage. Taking a couple of breaths into whatever sensations might be present now in your body. And then on an in-breath, you can guide your arms up high overhead. And then as you exhale, just let your right arm come down to the side and just stretching the left arm over to the right, making sure that your heart center stays open. And then you can place the palm of your right hand down onto the yoga mat or just stay on fingertips. As long as you can keep your heart center open in the side stretch, you're doing it right. And just breathe here in and out of the left side of the body now. Big, deep in breaths and complete out breaths. And see if you can keep your breaths long and really smoothing the breath out with each in breath and out breath. Couple more breaths here. And then in breath, come back to center, lift both arms up overhead, gazing up towards the ceiling for a moment. And then when the next exhale comes, you can let your left arm come out over, down at the bottom, stretching the right arm up and then guiding the right arm over to the left, repeating the same stretch on the other side now. And just tuning in for a moment, if you can stretch as far as to press your left palm down into the yoga mat, or if you need to be on fingertips so that the heart center can stay lifted in the side stretch. And just relaxing your head over the left ear Breathing deeply in and out into the stretch. Deep in breaths, complete out breaths. Taking these last few rounds of breath to really help smooth out the breath. Inhale back to center, reaching both arms up overhead, gazing towards the ceilings, and then bringing the palms together overhead and guiding the hands back down the midline to the heart center, right in the center of your chest. And just noticing the pressure as the palms are slightly touching one another, releasing any tension in the shoulders here in the face, in the eyes. And just centering yourself in the middle of your chest. As you release your hands back down, you can stretch out your legs as wide as you can, either side of the body. And just take a moment to, I don't know if you're all sitting on something, but especially if you feel like you're now beginning to round your back, you might want to really sit up on a pillow here so that you can keep your, your chest just naturally open without too much um, strain. That would probably be helpful. 
so that you still feel connected with a sense of relaxation in your body and not feeling like you're straining and holding your breath in this next stretch. So we're gonna lift the arms up high on an in-breath. And then as you out, breathe out, gently guide your belly button over to, towards the right knee. Keep your arms up and take a deep in-breath here. And then as you exhale, gently fold over your right knee, but just about a quarter of the way. Inhale, guide your torso back up. And then exhale, we'll come to fold halfway forward this time. Inhale, up again, straightening the spine. On the exhale, we'll come almost all the way down, but not quite down into the forward fold. And then inhale, we'll breathe up, lengthen the torso one more time. And then as you exhale, slowly come into your forward fold. The hands can rest either side of your right leg. Maybe you wanna bring your hands all the way in either side of the knee, if that helps relax your shoulders down a bit more. Wherever you are, just really relax your head down towards the chest, soft, soften into the shoulders. A deep bow in towards your heart center as you relax as best as you can into this forward fold. And with each in-breath, you can imagine breathing the spine a little bit taller. And as you exhale, lengthen the spine as you fold your heart more down towards the knee. Staying connected with your breath cycle in this stretch as best as you can. And with each breath, especially the out breath, you can deepen into the experience of the stretch. And if there arise any challenging sensations in the breath, just stay connected with them. Breathe to help soften into the stretch as best as you can. Just about three more breaths here. Deep in breaths and full and complete out breaths. And then when the next in-breath comes, we're gonna raise our arms up high again, turning the hands coming back to the center here. And then as you exhale, this time guide your belly button over towards the left knee. Take one more deep in-breath here. And then as you exhale, come about a quarter of the ways forward again. Inhale, lengthening the spine, coming up. Exhale, halfway forward fold. Inhaling up. Exhale, come down about two thirds of the way, three quarters of the way rather. Inhaling up one more time. And then exhale in your own way, repeat the same forward fold now over your left leg. Just relaxing the hands either side of the knee or the lower leg, wherever they fall naturally so that you can keep your shoulders soft, really relaxing into this forward fold as your chin releases down towards the chest. So forward fold is always an invitation to go inwards just a little bit more to really tune into the sensations in the body that are being created in the stretch. And just inviting the breath into the stretch wherever you feel it to help soften, to help lengthen. So just a few more rounds of breaths here, staying connected to your breathing cycles. And 
as you stay forward, fold, folded forward, you can stretch your arms out in front of you, maybe the height of the ears. And then on the next in-breath, just guide your torso back up. Guide your torso back to the center. And we'll just come into one more forward fold in the center. So just relaxing the arms down to the inside of either leg. Relaxing the palms down or the fingertips, softening the shoulders here. You can even round your back a little bit in this particular stretch. Just really let everything hang and continue to engage with your breath. There can still be a lengthening with each in-breath and a deeper relaxation with each out-breath. And then you can slowly begin to walk your hands in towards your body to help lift your spine in a natural way. So just take one more last moment here just to feel the sensations in the body that were created with the stretch. And then very slowly bring your legs back together and we'll all find our own way to come slowly on mindfully into our onto our hands and knees so you might want to remove any cushion that you have placed underneath you and so we'll just set ourselves up for a few rounds of cat and cow so just really take your moment take a moment to get here to this table pose spreading the fingers wide and placing them right under the shoulders. And then the, the hips can be right under the knees. And then as you're ready on an in-breath, you can lift your gaze, lift your heart center, come into a cow pose, drawing the shoulders back and down a bit and back. And then as you exhale, draw your belly button in towards the spine, release your chin, come into a cat stretch. Inhaling, slowly returning into your cow pose. And then as you exhale, rounding the spine like a cat, releasing the chin towards the heart. And again, I invite you to move at whatever pace feels right to you in this flow. So you might wish to flow a little bit faster or extra slow or just at a medium pace. It's good to stay connected to the body to see how it wants to move in each particular flow or pose. So we'll do this about five more times. So if you want to, you can close your eyes if you're comfortable to really feel this flow from the inside. And as you come into your cat stretch the next time, just hold here for about three more breaths, relaxing your head down, really feeling that belly button drawn in towards the spine. And then very slowly returning to your original table pose. We're gonna inhale and lift the left arm up into the sky, gazing up towards the fingertips. And then as you exhale, your left arm threads underneath, underneath the right hand, in between the hand and the knee. So we're gonna come into a thread and needle pose. The palm of the left hand is facing up. So stretch it all over to the right as best as you can. Relax your head down. And then stretch your right arm up into the sky, really opening the shoulder here, drawing the right shoulder blade towards the space behind you. And then breathing all the way up to your fingertips, to your right fingertips. Deep in breath as you lengthen the breath. 
and then complete out breaths as you just relax the body into the stretch as best as you can. Several more breaths, just an invitation to stay connected to each in-breath and each out-breath. One last in-breath from here. And then as you exhale, slowly return to your table pose in your own, in your own way, however that serves you. And just taking a moment to set yourself back up in your table pose. On your next in-breath, you can guide your right arm up into the sky, gazing towards your right fingertips. And then we're going to thread the needle with our right arm coming in between the hand and the knee over to the left. Release your head, release your right shoulder as best as you can. And when you feel ready, on an in-breath, just guiding the left arm up towards the sky, drawing that left shoulder blade towards the space behind you to really open the chest. And then you might notice that the breath has become deep quite naturally at this point in practice. And just keep mindfully observing the breath in this particular stretch. tuning in to the sensations in the body that this might create. And just breathing with the whole experience. One last in-breath here. And then as you exhale, release your hand back down, press yourself back up. And we'll return into our table pose. And just uh, preparing for a balancing pose coming out of our table pose from here. So we're gonna make it a little bit of a flow. So just be sure that you have your hands underneath, underneath your shoulders. So we're gonna breathe the left arm forward and the right leg back. And then on an exhale, we're going to guide the right knee forward and see if you can touch your knee with your left elbow. Inhaling, stretching the leg back up, stretching the left arm forward again. And then as you exhale, draw your right knee in towards your left elbow, drawing the elbow and release the head. Inhale, opening powerfully again. And then exhale, folding forward, drawing the knee in towards the elbow. So we'll keep flowing again in this way for several more rounds, building strength and perhaps heat in the body. So in this particular flow, you might go a little bit faster, but still staying connected to the breath. Just building strength and heat and stretching in this particular flow. See if you can do two more. Last one. And then from here, just come back to table and allow yourself to come down into a child's pose, just to rest here for a moment. So stretching the arms forward on your mat, releasing your forehead, into the yoga mat and just relaxing the whole body here. Relaxing and softening, perhaps feeling the energy activated in the whole body. Maybe noticing some heat that has built in the body. So just becoming more and more intimate with your own inner experience as a result of the practice. And just inviting it all in with a loving attention for yourself and for your experience in this moment.
And then in breath, you can gently guide yourself back up towards your table pose. And then we'll begin again on the other side. So this time we're going to stretch our right arm forward, stretch the left leg back. And then as you breathe out, you're going to guide your left knee towards the right elbow. The right elbow comes in towards the knee. Inhale, stretching everything long again. And then exhale, fold the elbow in towards the knee. So just like on the other side, we're going to just flow in this way several rounds. And you can make it a little bit more fast in terms of the movement so that you're really energizing the body here with each breath, with each stretch, as you lengthen, as you fold in, staying connected to your breath. Maybe two more rounds. And then after this last round, again, just come back to table pose and we'll come into a child's pose, this time with our arms by the sides of our body, by the sides of our hips, palms facing up, just releasing the head down into the earth again, into the yoga mat, really relaxing and softening here through the arms and the shoulders, feeling the forehead touching down into the mat and inviting the eyes and facial muscles, perhaps the jaw, all to relax once more. And just feeling the movement of the breath here in your back body, in your lower back, maybe rising all the way into your upper back. As you're ready, you can return back to your table pose the way we have started. And then from here, you can place your hand, just one hand length in front of you, the way you had it before on either side. You're gonna curl the toes under, preparing here for a downward dog. So when the next exhale comes, just lift your hips up high into a downward dog really pressing down through all the 10 finger pads, relaxing the head down towards the chest, really pressing the heels down as best as you can, but try to avoid locking the backs of your knees. So maybe just keeping the backs of the knees a little bit soft, but still feeling a good stretch through the whole leg. Strengthening the hands and the arms as you keep pressing the whole palm of the hand down into your mat. And then when you're ready, you can lift your right leg up behind you as high as you can. Bend into your right knee and then draw the hip open towards the right side as best as you can. You can have your gaze underneath your, your armpit, really opening that right side of the body. We'll be here for a couple of breaths. So really deeply breathing here into this great stretch, keeping that right knee up high, as high as you can. And still see if you can keep the breath smooth, even in this more challenging pose. Last in breath. And as you exhale, come back to center and then draw your right knee in towards your right wrist. So you're gonna place the right knee right in, behind your right wrist, maybe stretch your left leg all the way out in the mat behind you. And we're gonna come onto fingertips either side of the front knee, lengthening here through the chest, through the spine. Lift your gaze, take a couple of breaths here. And then on the next in breath, just very gently guide your heart center down, coming down with a long spine, releasing the arms down into the mat in front of you. 
maybe making pillows with the forearms so you can rest your head or stretching the arms all the way out on the mat, however you feel it's right for you, relaxing the forehead down onto the earth and just breathing into this sleeping swan pose. Deep inhales and exhales, imagining that the breath is straddling up the spine on the in-breaths. And then on the out-breath, a softening as the breath releases back down the spine, softening through the leg, the hips, the feet. And just resting your heart here, resting your brain, your mind from busyness, from activity on the outside. Just coming home into your own heart space. Just two more breaths here. And then as you get ready, you can place your, come up, place your hands um, underneath your shoulders, maybe curl the back toes under, and then we're just gonna come back into a downward facing dog again. Take a moment here to maybe sway the hips from side to side, releasing any tension from the hips that might've been created. Maybe placing your your weight more towards the hands coming sort of into a plank pose and then back into a downward dog. Just a couple of rounds stretching out the body in this way. And then we'll all return into a downward dog once more. As you're ready now, you can stretch your left leg up into the sky as high as you can, bend the knee and then stretch the whole left side of the body open, keeping your knee up high, maybe the gaze is underneath your armpit, really drawing that left side open as, as your leg stays up in the air, pressing firmly into the hands. Big breaths in the stretch. And then very slowly draw the, the body back over the center and then bring your left knee in and place it right behind the left wrist. You're gonna come onto fingertips either side of the front knee. Take a moment to really press down into the fingertips to lift the heart center, straighten the spine a bit more. And just take a couple of breaths. Feeling the openness at your chest in this pose, relaxing the shoulders down and back as best as you can. And as you breathe out this next time, guiding the heart center down into a forward fold and just taking the same arm rest as you did on the other side. So if the forehead cannot easily relax into the yoga mat on its own, you might want to make those pillows with your forearms to rest your head on. Or if you're more stretchy, you can stretch your arms all the way out and just release the forehead into the mat. Wherever you are is just right for you. Just noticing again the sensations of breathing here. And just noticing where the breath travels in the body in this particular pose. Where you feel it most easily. very gently lift your torso again, walk your hands in 
either side of the front knee. And then we're all going to curl the back toe under. And then again, just come back into your downward dog, occupying the whole length of your mat again in your own way. And we'll just uh, sway the hips from side to side again, releasing any tension in the hips. As you come back to center, you can bring your weight forward so that the shoulders are aligned right underneath the wrist. So we'll come into a plank pose, keep your belly button in towards the spine. And then just breathe here, building more heat, building more strength in the body, relaxing your head down as best as you can. We'll just take a couple more breaths here, really feeling the strength in your shoulders. Focusing on the out breaths here, perhaps out breaths, long out breath through the mouth. And then we'll bring the knees down. Sit your buttocks down to one side. You're going to stretch the legs out in front, but this time straight out in front. So they're close together and just place your hands behind you coming into a resting pose for a moment. You can close your eyes, just allowing the spine to stay strong and open and long, drawing the shoulders back to meet each other and back as best as you can, relaxing the shoulders down. And then we'll gently guide the right foot and place it outside of the left knee. You can bend into your left knee and then draw the left foot in towards your buttock. Sit your buttock down in the space inside. And we're just going to hold on to the knee with the left hand. Inhale, breathe your right arm up high into the sky. And then as you exhale, turn your body, twist your body over to the right and just relax your right hand right behind your buttock. Make sure that your shoulder can relax and back. And if you want to, if you, if you have that in your practice, you can hook the, the left elbow to the inside of your right leg and just let your head turn all the way over towards the space behind you, over the right shoulder, inviting you to close your eyes if that feels comfortable. And just enjoying this twist. Breathing in long. And as you breathe out, you might imagine that you're drawing the belly button in all the way to the spine, bringing out any toxins from the body energetically. On the next in-breath, slowly come back to center. You can stretch both legs all the way out again and maybe just shake out the legs for a moment, moving the feet. And then we'll just repeat on the other side. So we're going to invite the left leg, the bend into the left knee and then place the left foot to the outside of the right knee. We're just going to hold on to the knee with the, with the right hand now. Inhale, reaching the left arm up high. And then we're going to turn the torso over to the left as best as we can and just relax the left hand right behind the buttocks, turning the head over in the same direction, maybe hooking the outside of the right knee to the inner left thigh and just enjoying as you come into this twist now on the other side. Breathing the spine long with each in-breath. And then again, energetically wringing out any toxins from the body as you squeeze your belly button in towards the spine.
Just a few more breaths here to really enjoy this twist with each breath. Inhale, slowly back to center. You can stretch your legs out all the way on the mat. We're going to prepare to come down from here. So keep your legs stretched out and just reach your arms forward and then really engage your core. So you might want to imagine that you're squeezing the, the, the buttocks in towards one another. Keep your belly in and up towards your face and then with your chin slightly tucked in and your back rounded in just very slow motion, let yourself come down onto the mat as slowly as you can, really building some more core strength on the way as you come down onto your back. And then once you've come down, just let your hands, your palms rest on your heart for a moment. Just signaling the body that it's almost time to come into a resting space. But just noticing the movement of your breath in the palm of your hands. You can have your knees bent and your feet softly placed on the ground if that helps to relax your back. And we're just going to hug the knees in towards the chest for a moment to really get a nice stretch through the lower back before we come into Shavasana, perhaps rocking the hips and the legs from side to side. Maybe you want to take a moment as you come back to center to come into a happy baby pose. So drawing the the hands in to the inside of the knees and then holding on to the inside or outside of the soles of the feet, stretching the feet up as you widen the stands between your legs. And just enjoying this final stretch here before we come into stillness. So imagine that you're pressing your feet in towards the hands and the hands in towards the feet to get that extra stretch in this happy baby pose. And we'll invite the knees into the chest one last time. Maybe this time lifting the forehead off the ground and guiding the forehead towards the knees. Take one deep in breath here and then hold the breath in. Hold the breath in as long as you can, building some more heat in the body. And then the next time you have to breathe out, just relax the whole body into Shavasana, stretching your whole body out on the mat in whatever way serves you. So if you wanna have a bend in your knee with your feet placed on the mat, that's perfectly fine. If you have an eye pillow with you, and wish to place that on the body, please do so. Wherever you are, find a lying, lying down posture that allows you to come into stillness for the next few minutes, just to really deeply relax the body after the movement practice. Inviting your eyes to close if that feels comfortable. And again, just inviting the eyes and the facial muscles to relax as we began earlier. Inviting the neck muscles to lengthen. The shoulders to relax. Along with your arms and hands. Feel a softening through the chest and the belly. And a deeper sense of letting go through the hips, the legs, 
and the feet. And then just for the next couple of minutes, find a resting place in your body, perhaps staying connected to your breath as your anchor to keep you centered and presentness. Just noticing the sensations of breathing. Relaxed and alert at the same time. Begin to notice your breath again if you had temporarily lost the connection. And then just invite a deeper breath back into the body to help you awaken from this time of rest. Sending the breath into the parts of the body that might feel most calling out to you in this moment. And in whatever way you can begin to move the body again, perhaps wiggling fingers and toes, gently stretching the head from side to side. And then as you hug your knees back into your chest, you can just come over to one side into a fetal position, either side is fine. Just resting the palm of your hand down on the mat or carpet or floor in front of you. And just noticing how you feel in this moment. As you're ready, you can press the palm into the floor to help guide your body back up. And we'll just end the way we started in a seated posture with our eyes still closed, if that feels right to you. And with the hands and namaste in front of us, I just would like to offer a couple of loving kindness phrases for all of us to end. May we all be happy and peaceful May we all be healthy and strong. May we all be safe from inner and outer harm. May we all live with ease. <laughs>